Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio, and today I'm going to do an acrylic painting. This is on a canvas board. Can't remember if it was from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. This is my, I'm running out of canvas board. Uh, can't get to those stores at the moment. Um, the prompt that inspired this, there's a group that I'm in that's um, doing a painting a week. And the prompt was social isolation. Surprise, surprise. And <laughs> I had this photo in uh, my phone. And it was just a picture of an empty park. And I thought that kind of fit the prompt. The parks here in my location are closed. They're starting to open them up again. But um, at the moment of this voiceover, public parks are closed. And I'm using... The white is from De La Rowney, just Walmart um, white paint. And the blue is from Liquitex, it's Indithyrene Blue. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but um, really pretty blue. I really like it. It's almost like indigo. It's pretty close to indigo, in my opinion. Now the ground wasn't necessarily snow covered, but the exposure of the photo, it was quite over exposed so it was quite white so I just went for it it's easier than trying to come up with a color <laughs> so I'm just filling up the space for the mountain here this does look kind of a cold wintry scene um, it is still cold here at my house um, I think it got into the 40s today. I'm not sure when this will air on YouTube, but um, I'm doing the voiceover in the middle of April. And the trees on this, um, I don't know, kind of ends up looking like a winter or fall scene. Can't remember what day I actually took the photo, but. I'm just trying to fill up the mountain area and the horizon line. There's a lot of brush and dense stuff up the horizon line, which I didn't really want to get too into, so I just decided to darken it. I'm not a professional at the acrylic painting, but I am trying to do one, one acrylic painting a week. And maybe at the end of the year, I will have practiced enough that it'll start looking better. <laughs> Taking a class might help. Oh, and the canvas is so textured, you know, I just, I think I would prefer a smoother surface. Now I'm just giving the mountain a little bit more dimension, kind of highlighting sides. Kind of looks like snow, but it's really just to highlight the lights and darks on the mountain. Now I'm going to do the sky. Of course I'm trying to keep it lighter, trying to keep the color a little bit more smooth than the mountains. They didn't really matter because the mountains have texture. Um, here I'm trying to keep it straight across for the most part except for when I'm going around the outline of the mountains. I figure if I get a little bit of white streak in there, that would look kind of like clouds. So that wouldn't be too bad.
made my attempt at a cloud, but um, yeah, I think I need to take a class on that. <laughs> um, in my picture, there were clouds really close to the base of the mountain, so I do add a lot of white down there, um, trying to make it look like there were clouds at the base, at you know, down by the mountain. I guess not at the base of the mountain, but just right on the top of it. So that's what that's trying to be, is some clouds hanging out there. Fix my edges a little bit. Alright, so I let that part dry and now I'm going to come in with the trees. I believe that was Thalo Green. raw umber and yellow ochre. I believe those are my color choices. And we're just going to try and put in some trees. So I stopped here because um, in my picture there's kind of a pavilion and I want to make sure that's in the picture kind of gives that impression of emptiness. So I just wanted to put that in. I just did it with the chalk pencil before I put the rest of the tree in so that I leave that space for the pavilion.
just thinning that uh, umber to use to create shadows at the bases of everything so that they look like they're sitting on the ground and not floating. I think that helps a little bit. I think it still looks like snow <laughs> on the ground. Now I'm going to mix a little bit of that phthalo green with the white. Kind of gives it the um, aged coppery sort of look. Kind of what the top of those look like around my place. Sort of a light green color. adding a few finishing touches to the pavilion and then it'll be about done so I hope you like that if you did please leave me a comment thumbs up share it with your friends and if you'd like to see more from me please subscribe thanks for watching